Our corn tortillas are 100% mixed tamal. We don't add any corn flour or any of those like masa harinas that might be mixed into some, some other tortilla products. We cook the corn from start to finish. I'd say middle of 2015, we started producing nixtamal tortillas, initially just for our restaurants. Back then we were cooking like maybe six, seven bags a week. And now we're cooking like 72 bags a day. In general, we make on a daily basis up to about 100,000 100, tortillas a day of corn. For flour, I think it's closer to like 30,000 tortillas. So we are here at Vista Hermosa, our tortilla manufacturing facility. This is our warehouse space where we house all of our raw materials, raw grain for corn tortillas, our flour for flour tortillas. So for our corn tortilla, we use a non-GMO organic white corn. We get it by the truckload, 17 pallets per delivery. Uh, each pallet has 40 bags. Each bag is 50 pounds. We probably cook between 60 and 72 bags a day. So 17 pallets. 50 pounds times 40, you can do the math. It's a lot of corn. <laughs> so this is the blue variety of corn that we use. As you can see, it's a nice, almost like indigo, like a little bit of a purple tint to it. So this is the white grain, right? And you can see it's kind of like that off-white creamy color. And when we add the calcium hydroxide to it, it's really gonna brighten it up and make it almost like a yellowish kind of corn. To create nixtamal, you have to start with the grain, maize, water, and calcium hydroxide, and heat. So this is the calcium hydroxide that we use when we cook the corn to treat it, so that it makes a nice pliable dough. And what the calcium hydroxide does is it creates a very alkalinic environment, which means you're raising the pH to probably up around 11. And that's necessary to break down the pericarp and the, the hemicellulose layer on the corn, which is that outer part of the corn that really doesn't allow any water to penetrate or get into. You start to see right now how the, the color changes when the calcium hydroxide is added and that water starts to hit it. It goes from kind of that creamy white color of the corn to almost like this pale yellow. What nixtamal is, is it breaks down that layer on the outside of the corn so that first the water can be absorbed and then all those nutrients can be released and then allows us to grind it, you know, and make a nice pliable dough. Then after it's cooked and steeped, that's when you have what is called nixtamal. Once the corn is cooked, uh, we transfer it to these steeping buckets. We check the corn, we make sure that it's cooked properly. We check the pH, because what we've done is we've created a very alkalinic environment, which is what is needed and what was developed thousands of years ago you know, by the Aztecs and the Mayans, really understanding how to cook corn or, or soak it in this really uh, highly alkalinic solution to make this pliable dough, which is pretty incredible that they were able to, to, to do this thousands of years ago and understand that, that kind of science and chemistry behind it. So you can really see that the transformation of the corn, you know, in just a short amount of time, takes on a much different characteristic of what we started with and what, what we're looking at now. The next step of this process is to rinse the corn slightly. We run it through our mill, or molino, that has 16 inch stones on it. So like the stones play a vital role in giving you a superior masa. What the, you know, the stones really do is to really emulsify the oils and the starches and the fat. But these two stones here grind the corn as it pulls it in here. It pulls it in towards the center and then pushes the ground masa out of the edges of the stones. And this machine has a 40 horsepower motor on it. If you know anything about horsepower, it's, a pretty, uh, it's pretty robust. It's a nice airy masa when it comes out the bottom. And then when you start to mix it, it comes together really nice and it allows to make a really nice tortilla. After the, the corn or the maize gets milled, we transfer it to the mixer. We add a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of water if needed. We let that mix for a few minutes. We 
we transfer it to the sheeter. And then we start printing tortillas. We put the, the corn masa onto a sheeter that then pulls the masa through and it cuts it out to whatever size we want. Right now our size that we use is a 14 centimeter tortilla. So it's a little over five inches. The cutters are back here on the back side of it. Once it's cut, the cut tortilla comes off onto this mesh here and then onto the oven. And any excess masa then goes back to be used again. Right now we have a four row. We have two four row ovens. It goes onto a, a receiving conveyor that then places the cut tortilla to be baked on the comal, uh, which is heated to about between 500 and 600 degrees Fahrenheit. There's burners underneath all of these comals here. And we have three layers of cooking. And it goes through three passes on that machine. So it goes one pass, one pass, one pass, where it's cooked on three sides. And that's when you get that puff in the tortilla, which is very important for a table tortilla to make a nice quality table tortilla. You want that separation of the two layers. And I've watched the women in the markets in Mexico when I've traveled throughout Mexico and how they place it in different hot spots on their comal, right? It's the same concept. We've just mechanized it. After they go off, they start to cool down. They go again, like on a five tier uh, cooling conveyor. So they're cooling down the entire time. They're moving through this process before we package them. You want your tortilla to be cooled down enough so when you package it, it's not going to create moisture, which too much moisture as the package is sealed could create mold. And since we have a fresh product uh, with no preservatives or additives or anything like that, you know, we want to cool it down as much as we can before we package it. When they exit the cooling conveyor, they go onto this cool machine called a counter stacker. As it passes over this photo sensor, it counts each tortilla, stacks it into a nice neat stack for you, and then drops it out. So we have it set for like a 30 stack. As soon as it gets to 30 tortillas, it drops it and then brings it out the back of the machine, which you can see over here when you come out the exit side. Where it's eventually packaged either for our retail purposes, which for corn, we do a 10 count bag, either a six bag case or a 12 bag case. And then for our food service, which services all of our tacombi taquerias, it's a 20 pound case, which is about 360 tortillas. And I'd say probably 95% of those 20 pound cases go to all the tacombi taquerias. So now we're gonna go into our flour tortilla production area. So for the flour tortilla, we start with mixing 100 pounds of our organic bread flour. Each sack is a 50 pound sack, so we'll do two sacks of that. Another major part of our production in our tortilla is our flour tortillas. We start with mixing the, the masa. We do about a 200 pound batch at a time. We mix the flour, water, avocado oil, tapioca. Mix those for about 10 to 12 minutes. So after the dough's mix, you can see that the texture has completely changed from when we first started the mixing. And each batch of dough is about approximately 200 pounds. So now you can see it's a nice, nice and smooth. It's got a really soft texture to it, but you can really feel that that gluten has been activated, so it's gonna make a nice stretchy, have a nice bite to that tortilla. After the dough is mixed, then we go over to the dough divider and the dough rounder. In this machine, we, we feed the dough into the top here, kind of like a hopper. It pulls the dough down, extrudes the dough, and depending on how fast we spin this blade here will give us the size of the dough ball that we're looking for. We're looking for a small tortilla, a larger tortilla. We can control the size of the dough. Uh, then then falls into a, what's called a dough rounder, uh, which is like a big cylinder that spins and it drops it. It spins the dough, kind of balls it so you don't have to do it by hand, and then spits it out the top. And you can see the dough balls coming out from this side over here. We weigh them just to spot check them and make sure that we're getting the right uh, amount that we want. After they get rounded, we cover them in plastic wrap, we put them on racks, and we let it rest for about a half an hour. The masa here is already preformed into these balls, and so what we're doing is pressing it with these heated plates here. I throw una, una bolsa. We might give it a little dust of flour. 
drop it in, and then the tortilla falls out the other side. So unlike corn tortillas where we're, we're like die cutting the masa, these ones are individual balls that we're pressing on plates that are heated. They're about 350 degrees, flattens the dough out to a nice circle, and then slides off that press onto the comal, which is also heated like the corn tortilla oven. So you can see how it puffs up real nicely. So you've created two different layers. Woo. I mean, having a fresh baked tortilla off the line is probably one of my favorite things in the world. What you see right now is all of our retail packaging, eight count tortilla per bag, and we do six bags per case. So this is what's branded and what's gonna be in the stores, where you can buy them in like Whole Foods uh, and some of the other independents. And now we're in all, all of the Whole Foods locations as a fresh product in this region, which is like, you know, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. We also do the same for, uh, for the restaurants, but we do like a food service style where it's a much bigger case. The tortillas come in the morning, very early, right before a, a restaurant opens. And as you can see in here, all these beautiful tortillas are ready so we can start making tacos later on. All right, let's go. I mean, Oscar is kind of my right hand, his knowledge and skill set with, you know, just building flavors for the taqueria. This is how we receive our tortillas. It's around 360 tortillas per case. Yeah, look at these beautiful tortillas. We do this every morning. We get them ready. And this is our tortillas to start making tacos. I mean, he gives me a lot of feedback on how the tortillas are at the restaurants, how they're performing, how they're behaving, because, you know, like, I need to understand from him on his side of it, are they coming back to life? Making sure that we're giving them the best product available. Right, and here we have our flour tortillas. Flour tortillas, we use them for our quesadillas. Very traditional recipe from the north. And yes, and this is how we set them up for the day. You know, keep them fresh, ready for the bottle. Yeah, now we're gonna do a taco al pastor. The taco al pastor is the most popular taco on the planet. The tortilla is the crux of the taco. I wanted to create the best tortilla because we were creating these really awesome taco fillings and, and salsas and hot sauces. And so I started looking into what, what is Nixtamal? Like, how do I do this? How is it developed? All right, so now we're gonna be doing flour. And in this case, we're gonna do a quesadilla. I've been in the combi for 13 years. I was the first employee in the combi. I was looking for always to, to find the best tortillas to make tacos. A day we go through around 1,200 uh, corn tortillas, which is 1,200 tacos. Now, and then with the flour tortillas, we go through around 400 tortillas. That's why it's very important for us to keep that consistency in the factory, making sure that like every tortilla tastes exactly the same in every single location no matter if you're in Miami or no matter if you are uh, in Arlington or New York. Mexican cuisine, tortilla is such a big part, right? We use it uh, for tacos, we use it for tostadas, mm -hmm. then we cut it to do totopos. If we're gonna do mole, you add some tortilla in the mole to make it a little thicker. So it's, a, it's such a big, important part of our, of our culture. That guest experience, that connection with Mexico, even if it's from home or here, it stays the same, you know? Yeah, you can never get tired of a tortilla. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I feel like I'm always gonna be chasing the perfect tortilla. It is a challenge to maintain the quality that we're looking for. I think that's probably one of the most difficult things about running you know, a tortilleria that's 100% nixtamal is we're not adding anything else to our product. You know, it's water and corn and some calcium hydroxide and so the fact that we are doing it this way, we're still cooking corn. I don't think that there's anybody doing it at this scale right now and, and maintaining you know, this kind of quality.